Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. And praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. Today, you know, it's been announced and brought to my attention that Willie Hutchinson, you know, who just came off that phenomenal win against Craig Richards, where he looked very impressive, you know, saying against Craig, despite the Richards during the uh, <laughs> Queensberry demolition, clean sweep of uh, Frank, uh, of, of uh, Eddie Hearn in match room, you know what I'm saying? He came off that nice win. Um, he's supposed to be fighting. He's ordered to be fighting uh, Joshua Watsi next, you know. Joshua Watsi, Joshua Watsi is a Ghanaian out of England. Um, he's a very good fighter at the light heavyweight division, undefeated right now. Um, I think his last fight was against Dan Aziz, right? That was his last fight. Um, I'm going to be honest, man. Willie Hutchinson looked good. You know, admittedly, he looked good. He was slicker than I thought. But, you know, I don't know if he's ready for Joshua Boatsy. This will undoubtedly be his um, stiffest competition. You know, he's definitely stepping up in the game, which I like to see. You know, he said he wants to be a, a, a world title holder soon. So this is a, this is a, a path to get there. You know, um, I just don't know if he um, gets by this, uh, <laughs> gets past his milestone. You know, Joshua Boatsy is a serious contender, in my opinion. Um, you know, there's been rumors about him uh, even fighting uh, better be ever been all in the past. You know what I'm saying? So I think that Boatsy is ready. I'm not sure if uh, Willie Hudson is ready to take on this challenge, but we'll see. I'd like to see it because you never know. He could he could come up to us upset, but I definitely have Joshua Watsy in this one. Um, let me think of it. And then there's in other news. Y'all let me know who y'all have, Willie Hudson or Joshua Watsy. And then in other news, um, we have uh, Anthony Yard. No, sorry, not Anthony Yard. I'm thinking about him and, uh, him, him, him and his little... Uh, <laughs> Him and his little feud that he has with Frank Warren right now. And the yard thinking that he a free agent and Frank Warren said, uh-uh, Mr. Jackson, you're still with us. You under contractual agreement. Uh, but no, I want to talk about uh, Anthony Joshua. That's why I said Anthony Yard. Anthony Joshua and um, Daniel Dubois, you know what I'm saying? It seems like they're they're on, on track and on pace to... Uh, to, to, on, on collision course um, for uh, September 21st in Wembley, man. So that'd be good. All British showdown. I think that'd be a good fight. You know, Daniel Dubois definitely deserves it. He's been stepping up. He looked great against Philip Hergovich. I was very impressed, man. To me, in my opinion, he had the best performance of the 5v5 matchups, you know, out of all the participants. So that'd be September 24th in Wembley. September 21st, excuse me, in Wembley Stadium. I look forward to that, man. Uh, Anthony Joshua, you know, um, they both have been looking good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Anthony Joshua's been looking good. Um, now we have to keep it in perspective, though, right? He's been looking good his last two fights, but his last one was against a, a former MMA fighter who recently turned pro, who was making his second boxing, uh, his, his second debut, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? He was making his second box, having his second box in the fight against Tyson Fury. And, um, man, I'm messing up, man. Y'all forgive me. He had his boxing debut against Tyson Fury, where a lot of people thought he won. And then he had the second fight at the World Championship level against Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua flatlined him as he was supposed to be. Anthony Joshua had to blitz him right now. I had to blitz him if I was kidding. Oh, my God! As he was supposed to, you know, and then um, that was that, that was his, that was Anthony Joshua's last fight, right? So of course he's gonna look good. He's supposed to look good to a certain extent, and then and then the fight before that, he went against uh, Otto Wallen, right? Otto Wallen, he looked good 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 against him as well, but that's a former sparring partner, so there's already some familiarity there. And Otto Wallen's not the not a top notch opposition, so you know it could be smoke and mirrors, but I do think that Anthony Joshua with Ben Davidson has, has been definitely improving, and Daniel Dubois has has for sure been improved and so i think it's a good fight and i'm not gonna lie i think daniel dubois is gonna be the underdog it depends on how much of the underdog he is i might bet on daniel dubois for the upset what you know what i'm talking about but y'all let me know what y'all think man who you got daniel dubois anthony joshua or willie hutchinson joshua Bossy. either way some good fights right there man y'all be easy take care of yourselves remember with god we can do anything without god we are nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.